Do you not have any mountains near you and you can't therefore go skiing? Well, you're in luck because you can now play Snow on PC. Well, you can't fully play it because the game's still in development because it's a green light game on Steam. And as such, it's still very much in early development. But this is a snowboard and ski board simulator, which to me, I think is the first actual attempt at a proper simulator for skiing uh, ever, really. I mean, I, I remember playing back in the day, Serious Skiing, I think it was called. And I used to love uh, all the snowboard and ski games. Oh, God, I can't even remember the names of them. Like, obviously, the arcade ones, Amped. Um, Oh, Brain Freeze. Brain Freeze. There was some really good... There was one called Downhill Ski Racing or something. There's obviously the arcade ones. Can't think of them. I should have uh, checked before I started the video, but I didn't. Disaster. But I'm going to uh, load into this and just play. Now, there's no sound in the game yet. As I said, this is this is uh, super duper early access. But one thing that's really nice with it is... They've actually... They are actually trying to stay true to being a, a, a snow... A snow, a snow. <laughs> I got brainwashed by the the uh, loading screen there. A, a ski simulator rather than a, a pure arcade ski game, and it is using the Cry Crytek engine, uh, so it looks awesome. Now, there are, bear in mind, as I said for the, the tenth time in a row, this is early access, so it's a little bit glitchy. No sound. There's bugs. It's not finished. This is just uh, so you got to you got to take it with a pinch of salt, and it's probably a good couple of years before this is actually going to be a finished game. Let's just spawn here. I hope we don't spawn on a cliff face. There we go. Now, I did play this uh, about five months ago. And since then, they I think the focus of the developers really put on the actual... The, the physics, the controls of the guy. I'm playing with an Xbox 360 controller. And it is really... They've smoothed it out. It's a lot more fluid now. And it generally moves around as you would expect a guy to move around on snow. Oh. I'm not sure how well you can replicate the real activity of skin in terms of actually trying to do a one-to-one -one simulator like you would get from a driving simulator using a steering wheel. I mean, even driving simulators are abstract from the real activity. But it's going to be a lot harder to get a skiing game feeling spot on. But what's important is if they can get that the, the general depth and feel of how, you know, how the skis slide around, sticking to the mountain, moving through it. And this, right now looks and feels really good he's got this oh there's a and dead <laughs> oh my god off the cliff they said uh, that would hurt and landed totally <laughs> oh dear that's not how you ski yeah they've got it feeling really nice the, the basic physics uh and the grip levels seem about what you'd expect on skis the guy's model looks nice the animations look nice the cliffs look nice. I think what they want to do f in the final versions of this is turn it into more of a sort of MMO ski game so you can sort of explore your friends. Now, oh dear, I've just killed myself again. I've never personally, uh, I've been skiing a few times and snowboarding and snowblading. I prefer snowblades because I like just uh, pretending that I'm on uh, rollerblades rather than skis. Uh, but... I've never skied down anything as mental as this. Skied down a black piste, uh, but nothing with massive rocks. Not not ridiculous off piece. Skied through a forest, but not. This would be insane. I would not do this in real life. Put it that way. I mean, may, I do this bit here in real life, but that's about it. I would not want to go off a cliff face because I value my life and my legs. I want to keep them in one piece? Thank you. Let's just go off. Woo! So that's nice. Pre in previous ver oh, landing in previous versions of the game, uh, the, the physics would glitch out quite a bit, but they seem to have really polished it. Oh, it's, it's actually sticking to the uh, floor far more realistically. You, you do on real skis, you do actually tend to stay to the ground. Gravity, the the Earth has a good job does has a, does a good job of keeping things stuck to the floor, and uh, a lot of games seem to get that wrong. But this this seems to feel quite good now be really interesting uh, what they do with rumble and i think sound can help a lot in in ski games in terms of giving you a uh, an idea of how what your skis are doing you know if this if you're skidding sideways if they're if they're biting it i don't know um 
what would be really nice is if they have a normal left and right, I'm using a left analog stick to turn left and right, but on top of that, if they could use the right analog stick to uh, control tilt. So a, a crucial thing in skiing is you've, you've obviously got your basic lean in, but also the actual angle that you, you, you get your skis to bite into the snow, allowing you to then be more precise on carving in. So if they do that right, you could have a really nice deep racing game with physics that would uh, be quite addictive indeed. As it is now, the right analog stick actually does uh, grabs when you're in the air. Oh, we hit the snow park. Uh, okay, let's just do it. Let's do a backflip. What? Oh, no. Oh, that's not a back. <laughs> the rag dies. Oh, he looks at the camera. I think I broke his neck. At least he put his skis neatly in the corner. That's brutal. Let's reset. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, restart at the back of the snow park. I can see this being really nice when it's more finalised, and they have been. They have been gradually developing this. It's one of the things you get with. Uh, oops, no, <laughs> with the. Uh, okay, I'm airborne. Let's restart this thing. Oh, with steam green light. One of the things you get is that. Uh, I lost my train of thought again. The games are obviously very much still in development, so let's spawn here. Let's spawn. Oh, the camera's a bit funky at times. There we go. Already though, the actual movements and the control of the player is better than a lot of the previous ski games. So if they actually pull this off, it'd be fantastic. Oh, he, he automatically grinds a bit, which is nice. I wonder if they'll put more of a balance mechanic in. See, so does it? He also will transition from you know, skiing forwards to skiing backwards nicely. It's really smoothly done. Oh, this is nice. The, the snow texture is really nice. See, it looks really good actually. If you've ever been to a, a ski slope where they've just ploughed it with one of those big tractor things. Actually, looks very much like that. This will also be really interesting to play with the Oculus Rift as well. Let's go through it. I'll get a jump. Oh no! So, so this has loads of potential. Early days, graphics amazing, movements look nice. Hopefully, they can add a sort of carving mechanic using the right analog stick rather than it just being. At the moment, right analog sticks just for doing grabs. It's nice how they got the point. Woo, woo, woo! It's nice how they've got the points coming up with. Oh, I don't think that would happen in real life. <laughs> Maybe it would. They've got nice point system coming up, and it's not obtrusive. It fits with the theme of the game. The general style of this game looks really nice, actually. When this is more finalised and more polished, and this is going to be an awesome title. Whee! That's cool. How it's sliding there. Oh, now he's sliding up the hill. That isn't cool. The actual, the general movement though, initially was really nice. Let's re, let's pick a different. Oh, this menu is really hokey. Let's spawn up here. Go. The shadow looks cool. I, I want to do a backflip, actually. Let's do a backflip. Oh. Okay, let's find a, a hill. That's, that'll do. And we'll do a backflip. Oh, oh, God, he keeps going. <laughs> Let's try that again. You, you, that's one of the things with these kind of games. You always have to learn the, uh, you know, the amount of force that the sticks have. I think they've they've made the sticks. A, maybe there's an option to make them a bit more responsive. It's a little bit gloopy at the moment, which is good, I think, for people that initially come into something because it's if it's too sensitive, it makes it really hard as you're new to it. But once you get the hang of these things, you want really fast, responsive controls. Oh, let's go on this ski slope. It's more like a super G track. Yeah, they've really improved this from previous versions. Actually feels quite nice. Don't know what the 
right and left sticks don't. Uh, half the buttons don't do things at the moment, so. I think. No, oh, crouch down. Definitely think they've just been focusing on the sort of the core basic animations, basic the basic physics for base for the for the base movements and what you generally do, as well as add an extra piece to the game. I think there's lots of there should be lots of room for oh <laughs> there should be lots of room for adding extra controls for the players to use, given that they're only really using the as it is now it's X A B and the left analog stick. Find it. I need to do this backflip. Let's go off here, backflip style. Oh, 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 oh! It's really hard to get the uh, momentum right. Need to get this. We need to get this backflip, and then uh, that's life complete, and we can uh, jump off a building and be done with everything. Let's do use this. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, he's. Oh, I did it. Now he does. He's, he kind of speeds up as he's going through the backflip. I've never done a backflip on skis. So I don't know if that's what happens in real life, but. Land it. Oh, dear. That's, that would have been. Uh, that would have been a broken back. Yes, it's very hard to land to con when you're doing a flip to land it. So maybe that's something that they're going to improve on. The joys of green light and beta gameplay. Ooh, let's go down this way. It's like a snowy moon. I guess that's what a mountain is, really. A snowy moon. Geologist. Right, let's go up. Through here. Oh, there's rocks. There's rocks. We'll backflip off this. There we go. Let's do a twist. Wee. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is gonna be brutal when they add in sound effects. Guy just uh, screaming from agony due to being driven into a side of a mountain face. You get a good, uh, reasonably good sense of speed from this. They've added motion blur as you speed up, which I, I don't like in driving games, but I think in uh, in skiing games, if you play something with a gamepad. It's, uh, it's quite nice. Oh, that was cool. How he landed. He put his feet apart as he landed. Uh, let's go up this. Let's jump up off this. Backflip, 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 backflip. Here we go. Whee! Okay, that was a bit of a bigger hill than I was expecting. One, two, three, four. Can I rotate? Can I land? Can I land? Can I land? Can I land? No. <laughs> I wonder if um, maybe if I press jump again as I'm in the air, that will automatically stabilize him to some extent we'll see let's go for it I think one of the really satisfying things in games like this is just doing backflips and making sure you land on your feet and just try to do as many as possible trials bike is really good for that sort of gameplay okay uh, no no get back get back get back oh no oh oh, oh landed it and I died well, that gives you a good idea of snow. As I say, it's very much early access, and uh, unless you're prepared to put up with crazy bugs, mental interface, and not much gameplay, but are just intrigued about the development of a game, um, of a particular thing for, for skiing games, then you might want to hold off. Um, as I say, it's also going to be a free-to-play game when it's finished. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's, it, it's interesting. It's an interesting title that has massive potential. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play video, la di da talk with classical music in the background. Thanks for watching. Obviously, if you liked it, like it. You can subscribe, drink some tea, though it's getting warm, so you might want to drink some shandy instead. Thank you and goodbye.